Hello friends. Welcome to session 6 on projection of points. See here. Now I want to revise whatever I've done because in these sections we do combination problems and all that which you need to know a lot. See here I've been telling you projection of points in the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant and all that we have finished. You see here, this is, can you see this HP and this VP? This is first quadrant. That means any point located here will be above HP in front of VP. That is, this is first quadrant. Can you understand? This is first quadrant. That is, anything above HP in front of VP is the first quadrant. Observer position is this only. Okay. Observer position is always perpendicular to VP. Okay. Observer position is always perpendicular to HP for getting the top view. Observer position is always perpendicular to VP to get the front view. Now, this is first quadrant where objects are located above HP in front of VP. If objects are kept here in second quadrant, if you, know, if you are looking from here, the direction of vision is always fixed on. If you are looking from here, the objects are behind VP and above HP. Okay. Behind VP and above HP. If the objects are located in the third quadrant, you observe if the objects are located in the third quadrant, when you are looking from here, it is behind VP, below HP. Can you understand? Huh? This is HP, this is VP, behind VP, below HP. If the objects are located in the fourth quadrant as shown, as shown here, it is, if the objects are located here, it is below HP in front of VP. Okay. In that way, if you get any problem, above HP in front of VP, if I, if I give some distance, above HP, some distance in front of VP, you should know very well, it is the first quadrant problem. If I give any problem where I given the distances behind VP above HP, immediately you should relate it to second quadrant. If there are any problems given with distances below HP behind VP, immediately you relate it to third quadrant, do as per the third quadrant procedure. In the same way, if there are any problems below HP in front of VP, immediately related to fourth quadrant and do as per my procedure what I told you earlier. Okay. This is a very important thing. What you should know, never forget it is first quadrant is this, second quadrant is this, third quadrant is this, fourth quadrant is this. Okay. This you don't forget by just by knowing the distances itself, you should know in which quadrant it is. Okay. I am telling you again. Above HP in front of VP, first quadrant. Above HP behind VP is second quadrant. Okay. Then behind VP below HP is third quadrant. Below HP in front of VP is fourth quadrant. This you remember, this is the basic positioning the, for all the four quadrants, first, second, third and fourth. And as I told you, Earlier it was uh, all the industrial drawings were in third quadrant. Okay. Where for XY line, above XY line you had HP, below XY line we had VP and all that. Now, in uh, all industrial drawings present day is always first quadrant where for XY line, above XY line you have VP, below XY line you have HP. That means above XY line you have print view drawn, below XY line you have top view drawn. Anyway, this positioning you remember always. And also one more thing what I am telling you is any distance above HP, any distance below HP, they are all parallel to VP distances and will be seen in its true length, in its actual length in the front view. That means any distance above HP, any distance below HP, they are all seen on VP only and they represent front view distances. In the same way, any distance behind VP or any distance in front of VP, they are all parallel to HP and they relate to top view distances. This is the basic concept you remember. 
again I am telling you any distance above HP or below HP. Okay. They are the frontive distances attached dashes to that. A dash, B dash in that way. In the same way, any distance behind VP or in front of VP, behind VP or in front of VP, they are the top view distances. They are seen in a true length in the HP. They are the top view distances. I will attach A, B, C in that way. Top view, not dashes. Okay. This is the basics. Now, problems of points located in different quadrants. You carefully listen to this. And now the problems uh, involving your concepts and all that will be tested here. Okay. Now you see here. First problem. Point A is in the first quadrant. 40 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. Okay. We will not tell you. Point A is in the first quadrant. 40 mm above HP, 30 mm in front of VP. Only for that we will see. We will see the other things later on. Okay. Point A is in the first quadrant. Point A is in the first quadrant. 40 mm above HP, 30 mm in front of VP. Okay. That's why if you see first quadrant, it is uh, first quadrant, no? 40 mm above HP, 30 mm in front of VP. This is VP, this is HP. Above HP in front of VP is first quadrant. 40 mm above HP, 30 mm in front of VP. In that way, A dash and A are located. In the same way you see here, point A is the first 40 mm above HP, 30 mm in front of VP, I have already done. Point B is in the third quadrant. Third quadrant means it is above XY line you have a HP, below XY line you have VP. Point B is in the third quadrant, 20 mm behind VP and 35, and 35 mm below HP. Okay, 20 and 35 you just see. Uh, okay, the point B is in the third quadrant, 20 mm behind VP and 35 mm below HP. See here. Uh, see here. Now, this was first quadrant. 40 mm above HP, 30 mm in front of VP. Now, it is third quadrant. That is HP here, VP here. 20 mm behind VP, 35 mm below HP. Okay. 35 mm below HP. In that way, this is first quadrant. 40 mm above HP, 30 mm in front of VP. But point B is in the third quadrant where HP is here, VP is here. First quadrant, VP is here, HP is here. Okay. In that way, this is 20 mm behind VP, top view, 35 mm below HP, front view, B dash. And if you see here, the distance between the, these two points measure parallel to XY line is six, uh, 60 mm. Okay. Now, the distance between these two projectors, no? the uh, projector means a line connecting the top view and front view, or front view and top view. This is a projector. This also B and B dash. It is connecting. This line is connecting top view and front view. In that way, this is a projector. This is a projector. The distance between these two projectors measured parallel to XY line is 60 mm. It is 60 mm also. Okay. Then let this distance be anything because this is from RPP. Uh, I am not given anything. Okay. You take assume any distance here. The important thing is uh, first. This is first quadrant. 40 mm above HP. 30 mm in front of VP. This is third quadrant, 20 mm behind VP and 35 mm below HP. Draw a 45 degree line, 45 degree line. Draw the corresponding side views they have asked. Her. See here, what I done? See here, if this is first quadrant, no? First quadrant, I draw 45 degree. This is uh, VP, HP, RPP is here. In that way, I do this 45 degree line using this 45 degree line. I have got A double dash here. Okay. A dash and A double dash should be on the same projector. Okay. In the same way, see here, for the third quadrant also, VP, RPP, this, this HP, HP, VP, RPP. Using this 45 degree line, you take the projectors and in that way, you get B double dash here. Okay. B, B dash and B double dash. A, A dash and A double dash. A dash and A double dash should be on the same projector. In the same way, B dash and B double dash should be on the same projector. That's a clue for you. Meet 45 degree line and come back. This distance can be anything. You take any distance. Okay. Now, once you do this, they have asked, join their top views, join their front views. They have just asked. Okay. Okay. They join the top views and join the front views. 
and in that way you are completing this problem. Okay, I'll tell you this. The problem is this is for fifth from uh, VTU textbook. Uh, uh, what you do is the point A is in the first quadrant, 40 mm above HP, 30 mm in front of VP, first quadrant. That is VP here you write VP here you write HP, 40 mm and 30 mm A dash and A you look at. Then the distance between the end projectors is 60, that is why 60 in that way. Uh, now this is in third quadrant B and B dash. This is third quadrant means it is 20 mm behind VP, B and 35 mm below HP, B dash. Okay. Once you get B and B dash, this 60 mm if you take and front view of uh, A you have completed, top view of A you have completed, uh, top view of uh, B you have completed, front view of B you have completed. Then you see, draw 45 degree line, 45 degree line. In that way, use this a, you see here, A double dash I got. In the same way, you meet 45 degree line, you get that. B double dash also you get. And uh, they have asked you to join the corresponding top views, join the corresponding print views. In that way, you are able to complete this problem. Okay. Now, see here, the point R is on HP, 35 mm in front of VP. Okay. You see here, this is problem 11. Again, little tricky. Uh, we will do uh, one by one. Problem 11. No? Point R is on HP. 35 mm in front of VP. Uh, point R is on HP. 35 mm in front of VP. You see here. Point R is on HP. Point R. Capital R. This is point R. Is, is on HP. HP only. 35 mm in front of VP. When you are looking from here. This is on HP only. That is why front view will be on XY line only. Can you understand? The point R is on HP. 35 mm in front of VP means, okay, this is the point R lying on HP. When you are looking from front view, when you are looking in this direction, front view direction, this R dash will be on XY line. R will be here only, 35. Okay, this is 35. And the point S, yes, no, point S, yes, is on HP, I'll just go back, point S is on HP, 50 mm behind VP, point S is on HP, 50 mm behind VP, okay, point S is on HP, 50 mm behind VP means, this is actually the first quadrant, this is actually the third quadrant, point S is on HP, 50 mm behind VP means, when it is this way, when you look from the front, this S, yes, the front view of this, will appear on XY line only. And it is uh, the top view will be 50 mm away from x y line. Here also point R is on HP, okay, 35 mm in front of VP. In that way, when you look from the front, R dash will appear on x y line, R will be here only. Okay, here also point S is on HP, 50 mm behind VP. When you now, if you want to draw the projections, projects, projections now, your front view will be here and top view will be here only. Okay, now looking at this, you draw this. Point R is on HP, 35 mm in front of VP. R dash and R you look at. In the same way, this is front view. That is uh, first quadrant. This is third quadrant. Point S is on HP, 50 mm behind VP. S dash will be here. S will be here as a, uh, shown in the last slide. Okay. This S dash and S you do, you uh, uh, draw on a li line like this better. Then they say the line joining the top use of these points, that is R and S, will make an angle of 40 degrees to XY line. Draw this at 40 degree, wherever it meets, no? this is 50 mm, there is S, this is S dash. Okay, that means the point R is on HP, 35 mm in front of VP, point S is on HP, 50 mm behind VP. In that way, I got R dash and R, uh, S and S dash. This is first quadrant. This is third quadrant. And the line connecting the top view is making 40, 30, 40 degrees takes XY line. In that way, you have completed the projections. And they have asked, uh, draw the, the, this is X is the distance between the end projectors. They have asked you to measure the distance between end projectors. This is the end of session 6. Thank you. Watch for watching. Thanks, friends. Thanks again for watching. Thank you.